it would be easier to just drink beer. Prince Harry jokes with Fijians making strong traditional drink kava after knocking some back at a welcome ceremony. The Duke of Sussex has joked with Fijians making the traditional kava beverage that it would be easier to just drink beer. Prince Harry spotted two men demonstrating the stages of kava production while on a visit to the Kolo I Suva Forest Reserve, just outside the Fiji capital Suva. The royal noted that's what I drank last night, in reference to the kava which was handed to him at a ceremony in Suva's Albert Park a day earlier. Sniffing a bowl of the earthy drink, prepared by pounding the roots of the agonet tree into powder and adding water, he described the smell as strong. How much of this do you drink at the weekend? The duke asked local men Joely Nazaka, 18, and Aparama Aluaviti, 28, who were conducting the demonstration around a kilo. Joely said, before Prince Harry joked it would be easier to just drink a beer. He also tried his hand at crushing pepper roots, which is part of the coffee making process. At the ceremony on Tuesday night, part of his and his wife's 16-day royal tour of Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, and Tonga, the Duke had been given kava to drink. He looked on as the kava was made with the root wrung out and a bowl passed to the Duke on the stage before he accepted the drink and held it to his lips as the crowd cheered. Both his grandparents, the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh, also drank kava during an official visit to Fiji in October 1982. But following the ceremony, the royal was seen toasting with water alongside his pregnant wife Meghan, while everyone else was drinking champagne. It is unclear whether the father-to-be intends to avoid alcohol throughout the entirety of Meghan's pregnancy or just during toasts and other occasions that might leave her feeling left out. While visiting the forest reserve, the Duke of Sussex also went back to his roots as he planted a tree with the same shovel his grandmother, the Queen, used for the task in 1953. Harry, who wore a blue Beulah shirt for the visit, also met a woman who had served her tea when she visited Fiji during her epic coronation tour. Lishiana Vulaka, 87, was just 21 when she was chosen for the task by her employer Francis Lillian Charlton, who was the principal of Adi Kakaba Secondary School, a girls' boarding school visited by the monarch. Local clan chiefs were gathered around her as the duke arrived but he immediately crouched down to speak to her and had clearly been well briefed on her story. Speaking afterwards an emotional Lishiana said, I am so happy today because he talked to me first and he knew all about my story. Describing her previous royal encounter, she said, I was 21 years old in 1953 and I was working for a lady as a housemaid. She taught me a lot about how to do things, so when the Queen came, they chose me to serve her and the Duke of Edinburgh. I was so frightened the first time but I was very very lucky. She was so beautiful with beautiful skin and clothes. The Shiana, who had been well trained in etiquette by her boss, also recalled an apparent breach of protocol by Prince Philip, saying, I remember that the Duke didn't use a teaspoon to put sugar in his tea, he picked up the sugar lump with his fingers. I was shocked. Prince Harry was in the forest to formally recognize its dedication to the Queen's Commonwealth Canopy project. To mark the occasion, he unveiled a plaque and planted an indigenous takua tree, which is a threatened species in Fiji. He was led to a shiny metal shovel, engraved with the words Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, Latoka, Fiji, December 18, 1953. The Duke picked it up, saying, This is the second time it's been used since 1953, right? He filled in the earth with the help of two school children after giving a speech. Earlier, the Duke had a crash course in Fijian traditions as he watched demonstrations of mat weaving using dried pandanus leaves and hair dyeing, using makita fruits, limestone and clay inside an open-sided beret, or hat. Harry then met members of the Matagli and Nalukra and Matagli made in Akravata clients, the traditional owners of the forest, who leased it to be legally protected by the Fijian government in 1949. They included Lishiana's nephew Sala Bilivanya. The Duke also spoke to children from Tamavala and Tasira primary schools, who had prepared displays about climate change. He told them, You are the younger generation and you are much better educated about climate change than your parents. Do you think there is enough action to stop it in the rest of the world? Not enough. We need more, 
But what you guys are doing here is fantastic. Bernadette Welch, Permanent Secretary for Civil Service and Acting Permanent Secretary for Forests at the British High Commission in Fiji, said, The people here are very emotional about their royal visit, they really cherish it. They will be talking about it for generations. The Kolo I Suva Forest Reserve, comprising 369 hectares, is home to several endangered species, including the Fijian tree frog and the Balaka microcarpa fern, of which only 200 remain in Fiji.